it's 7 30 p.m on tuesday august 13th i believe 2024 i just set up the lane so they don't pack graze sorry i had to get the wire up it's got her some, some brush so this is the lane the cows can take to get the water and the minerals and i figured it'd be good to film me walking back it's 90 something degrees 40 percent humidity it's pretty nice hey 47 there's 48 let me see if i can pet 48 is it okay if i pet 48 number 20 silence is consent hey 48 how you doing little buddy this fur is so soft her fur she's getting big all right let's go back come on whoa so we've got one more move and then we have to set up a new row um but I'm kind of running out of wires and reels. So I have to, probably just gonna order a couple more. Um, yeah, so the middle part's not too good. This part's great. I think this is where they grazed yesterday evening and to this morning until about 10 o'clock, 10.30 when I moved them. Yeah, the grass here's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. It was just one bite. Take one bite of the grass and move on. Uh, I don't wanna shock the grass. We gotta let the cows in, JJ. There's a couple cows that haven't come in yet. Yeah, the grass is getting thicker as we go to the east. And then there's two more moves here. So, what I think we'll do, JJ, is we'll feed Kindungi, and then we'll come back and close it off. So, uh, I should mention I had the lamb. The lamb was about nine months old. Uh, he was a big boy. He had a lot of fat on him. Um, I fried up some of the meat and ate it, and it did not have any gamey flavor at all. It, it tasted uh, like a cleaner beef, which is kind of weird. I thought it would taste weird, but nope. Didn't taste weird, it tasted rather good. And so my wife made a stir fry out of it and the kids enjoyed it. A little bit chewy. Um, I don't know what part we used. I think we used the rib meat or something. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of fat on that, that animal. The fat was white, not yellow. And it did not have that gamey flavor or smell to it. Um, I tried to make lamb, a uh, rack of lamb, but I could not separate the uh, ribs from the spine So I think if I'm gonna do that I need a bandsaw uh, Or something so I can cut down the spine And if I had that then it would be rather easy to make rack of lamb but uh, the other thing too is I think eventually I want to invest in a little refrigerated room or something like that so I can hang uh, a beef carcass or a deer carcass. Hey 48. What are you doing over here? or a deer carcass, or a, you know, a sheep carcass, and uh, maybe dry age it a little bit. You know, I think that might help a little bit with the tenderness of the meat. Um, you're not supposed to eat meat the same day you slaughter it or for a couple days after. I know with chicken, if you take the chicken and immediately put it in the freezer, it gets really tough. And so you have to kind of keep it in the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours before moving it into the freezer, otherwise it gets really tough, so. Yeah, I was really pleased with the results. I really didn't try that hard to get that lamb conditioned. I didn't feed him any grain at the end. Um, he was raised with a little bit of grain for the first, oh gosh, probably four months of his life. But uh, since I got him, um, was it April or May that I got the lambs uh, from my neighbor Jack? Um, but it's just been good. I, I think it's been a really good experience and I look forward to doing it again and getting better at it, you know. Um, I think I'm learning how to properly handle uh, the slaughter and processing of a carcass. So, you know, maybe one day uh, I might be willing to share some of that meat with you guys if you want some. But for now it's still, I don't know if it's sanitary or not. If I get sick from it, 
I'd rather I get sick and not some some stranger, you know. But uh, you know, I, I was really surprised at how um, hard it was to get the skin off, um, and I was really surprised at how much fat there was on that animal. So just good, good, good all around. Okay, 47, you need to get going. Go be with your mama. Once you get through, I can close it up. Yeah, you can jump the wire. Okay, guys, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.